It is that time of year when we make and we try to keep New Year resolutions. And those resolutions, they could really put your kids on the right track as well. Sue Ann Brown, she's a certified etiquette instructor and the owner of It's All About Etiquette. She's here with some details and really simple things Very that much we so. can do. Absolutely. So why are resolutions important for kids? You know, I think it's really important the parents are doing them that they should go ahead and talk to their kids about it because they set goals and when they accomplish their goals they have a better self-esteem about themselves, nice. they have confidence, and I think it should just be a whole family situation well, for everybody. Is there an age range that would work best for I, You know, I, it's funny because when you're setting your goals, your children are going to have different goals because right. of the age and really what they need. They One might need more help with math or reading at school or whatever, so it just kind of depends on the, the child. And so. I love it that you said we can make it a family affair because yes. you said it's more fun. It is. And we might stick to it a little I more. I know, it, yes. <laughs> You, yes. We have accountability, it's, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's a, it's very important. It, it just kind of depends on um, you know how long you want to do the goals. Mm -hmm. So I probably would say pick one and work on it for three months, and then pick another one. So maybe three three goals for the year mm -hmm. for everybody, and have them write them down so that everybody's accountable for that. Perfect. And uh, it's just really important. It really helps to help your kids feel more confident. And you were saying that last year maybe something didn't go great right. for your child. Right. And this is a good way to mm -hmm. kind of right a wrong or maybe just turn you in a different direction. Exactly. So you should sit down and have a nice positive conversation mm -hmm. with your kids and have them write down maybe three things that they would like to do. And the parent's going to have to help them, you know, through that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really great idea to go ahead and put it on um, on a board. Okay. So, so everybody board um, has, has a name and they're going to be told what they're going to be I doing. I love it. So call it family yes. resolutions. Be, be yeah, exactly. absolute Right. Okay. And so I have one for the whole family. Um, do one act of kindness a month. So whether you want to write notes for people that are elderly in, a, in an, an, you know, an older home or something, it. because it, it t starts teaching your children that kindness is important, empathy is there, and I think that's really super important. That's I love the family it. can do that. And then mom wants to go to the gym three days a week, and they <laughs> should be, your goals should have, uh, you know, three, three weeks a day, three days a week. Um, and then he wants, to, the father wants to bring a healthier lunch to, to, to work. work. Okay, these and, are, these are doable. Um, and also, Sarah wants to go ahead and read 30 minutes before going to bed instead of being on her phone, texting, okay, right? All and, right? And math. So I think it's just a really good way of, of making sure that the family is all. And in. again, putting the books out where they yes, can see them. Exactly. And, and you were saying even maybe picking up a little bit of chores for yes. more responsibility. In my training programs, I. <sighs> Table manners are so important, and we're not doing it very much. Mm -hmm. So, parents should go ahead and have um, table manners, you know, as one of their resolutions for everybody. And I like the checklist idea yes. too, right? Yes, because then you're responsible for checking off the um, mm -hmm. the list of, of what you're doing. And and keeping it simple. And of course, age will will play into exactly. how how deep you exactly. get with that. Exactly. So, as parents, if we're watching, mm -hmm. how do we help our kids stick to this track? Well, it's really important that again that they're monitoring what mm -hmm. they're doing, and the parents are going to have have to actually say, well, Susie, you know, are you going to go read 30 minutes? You're going to have to kind of help them along mm -hmm. until they get into a, um, you know, a, a program right. on their own. So the parents are going to have to kind of yeah. keep it rolling. And, <laughs> and, you know, and, and I don't know about your, you uh, all's yeah. kids, but my kids are very competitive. So this could be a really it's good really way. It's really good for families. Yes. yes. And then have some kind of really great surprise, you know, maybe after the third month, the one that's, you know, doing it the most or, you know, mm -hmm. That's accomplished it, then you know they should be rewarded for that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I like that you said three months because you know maybe we can't do it for the whole uh, year. No. Yeah. But give yourself little milestones yeah. and reward yourself. Exactly. Great information you, as honey. always, Thank Sue Ann. You. And we have more of Sue Ann's information on it's all about etiquette on our website, sonoranliving.com.